Tamil Nadu is one state wherein 62% of our food habit is vegetarian. Because of this, we need more dal in our culinary items. We need green gram, black gram and red gram for the food supply and food chain. In this regard, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University has utilized the services of the ECRISAT and the international agencies to collect the genotypes and in, to bring out a uniform, synchronized maturity in green gram and black gram. We have released varieties in this one. Using small space, less water and less labor, we have to produce more food. And pulses is the one crop which is amenable for such a system. It has 55 days to 65 days duration. Wherever there is two or three irrigation possibilities, this can come up very well. One of the major difficulties is that it is used to be cultivated as a stray crop or uncared crop. Only now, everyone is interested to take it as a protected cultivation and then irrigate without cattle menace we could produce. So the yield has been doubled and I am sure that in the next few years it can be tripled. Not only that, processing and value addition of the pulses is also more important for which we have developed machineries uh, so, uh, so that every individual can get required material. I am sure that India has to import pulses for next 15 years. Is there a possibility to go for a breakthrough? and stop the import at certain stages. Definitely it can be done. In the red gram, Icrisat has come out with hybrids and Tamil Nadu has come out with the short duration, long duration varieties. A mix up of all these three with a me medium duration crop, definitely we can produce more and we can double the production in the next three years. Let us hope that in the international year of pulses, India is also contributing for the production and it is also providing the need-based varieties so that it can suit well for the product that are going to be value added in this country. Pulse is the one which provides the protein requirement for the individual. With this one, we have to incorporate little bit more on the mineral content also because nutritional deficiency is rampant with our kids. 42% of our kids are malnourished. If you want to provide one tasty food with pulses, you can always add. I will give you a simple example, green gram, as such you can cook and then add a little bit salt and onion, it is attractive uh, dish in the evening. Likewise, we have to add more pulses into the food chain and this pulse should be also mineral, uh, nutrient nourished material, so that in future our younger generation will be uh, more nourished and it is also capable of shouldering the responsibility for the future citizens of this country. The major challenges is that, that it should go as a cash crop to the farmer because farmer is interested to get more income from the crops. Even though it is a short duration crop, unless and otherwise we fix a minimum support price. Today, India is surplus with grain. How we have reached that one, it is only because of the minimum support price. For pulses and millets, if we go for investment in minimum support price, farmers will go for that one. Profitability will be also positive. And then we can satisfy the requirement of the individuals. Uh, I'm sure that uh, researchers should concentrate more on reaching to the farmer and we should concentrate more on the income of, of the farmer rather than productivity of the farm.